Good morning students uh, today we are in a mechanical engineering material lab and we are going to see the uh, practical for heat treatment processes already we have completed this topic in our uh, theory sessions now we are going to perform it uh, in a practical laboratory so you can see here we have a muffle furnace for performing the heat treatment practical the maximum temperature we can achieve in this muffle furnace is nothing but 1200 degrees celsius and today we are going to perform the hardening process i already understood what is heat treatment but usually when we ask for what is heat treatment we normally consider that is nothing but the heating and cooling of the material or component but there are classification of heat treatment and on which basis the classification is this done that is nothing but the cooling rate which cooling rate we are going to apply for cooling the heat treated or component so there are three major types of cooling rates the slow cooling medium fast cooling and fast cooling and on that basis three classification types of heat treatment is also done annealing normalizing and hardening so in annealing what we done we heat the material up to recrystallization temperature and we kept it in a furnace for next 2 3 days to cool it down because of that the cooling rate is very slow and we achieve the properties of soft means we, we can achieve a ductility malleability in that particular component so there are two main agendas or there there are two main objectives for the heat treatment process one is nothing but to alter the uh, properties of component or material and second is to reduce the stresses generated while manufacturing that component so next process is nothing but medium fast cooling in that process what we do we cool the component or sorry we heat the component in muffle furnace up to recrystallization temperature then we take that component in open air because of the air uh, ventilation what happen is that the cooling rate increases compared to annealing because in annealing what we do we keep it we keep a uh, component in a furnace but in annealing uh, sorry in normalizing we kept it in open air because of that air ventilation that component gets cool uh, comparatively faster to annealing and the last third process is nothing but hardening in hardening we do quenching in quenching what we do we heat the a component up to transformation temperature or recrystallization temperature and then suddenly we uh, cool it down using the quenching media there are three types of quenching media available you can use water you can use brine solution you can use oil and because of that the temperature drop suddenly and that sudden temperature drop sometimes generate the stresses in a component and to remove those stresses there is also one a uh, parallel method for that heat treatment that, that is nothing but tempering so we have to do tempering in that case so these are the three types now today we are going to see how hardening process process is carried out in our laboratory you can see uh, the muffle is already started uh, increasing the temperature we have already kept the component in this and now we are going to remove that component after certain temperature ring and then we are going to dip it in water so that we can uh, have a hardening process and after that process we are going to study the microstructure for that particular component and that is nothing but our practical to study the microstructure before heat treatment and after heat treatment and compare those two microstructures so let's see we are going to i am going to show you how the practical is conducted and how the microstructures has been studied thank you so much okay so we have set the temperature value for 920 degree celsius and you can see at uh, 24 degree is achieved and now our component is almost ready because it is the transformation temperature for plain carbon steel our component is of plain carbon steel material and uh, now we are going to dip it into the water for hardening procedure as i have already said this is nothing but the quenching method in which we dip the uh, hot red hot component in a quenching media which is uh, nothing but water brine solution or oil so right now we have a water so i am going to dip that red hot component in the water so let's see
well you can see the sudden temperature drop is carried out and uh, there is a chances because of the sudden temperature drop the stresses may induce in a component so to release those stresses we need to do some tempering process as well in industry right now we are doing this only and we are going to uh, take this component under the microstructure to see the changes in microstructure after heat treatment okay this is all for this practical thank you so much